Guys, I know I'm ugly, but your boy is officially down to- <laughs> It's go time. You already know, I'm going in like crazy. So whenever y'all see this, y'all know. <laughs> it's go time. <laughs> They're hearing the good news about losing 10 plus. Um, it is snowing right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, shovel the driveway. That Y'all already know I got the Z covered up. I'm playing no games. Shovel the driveway real quick. Hit the gym. I'm um, going to do some back in uh, tries today because the gym is still open. So I'll do that and then um, I will begin the video on how I, you know, got to where I am right now and how I keep going. So, you know, one thing I want to say for sure, I've never really seen a channel of somebody doing their actual uh, weight loss journey all the way through. You know, most of the time people would literally lose all the weight and then they start. But for me, I want to, you know, make a difference. I'll be the one that's actually going to start from my heaviest weight down to where I want to be. So, um, yeah, I hope this is a game changer for, you know, YouTube and the fitness community. I mean, personally, I've never seen anybody else, but yeah, I hope this is a game changer. It's your boy, Mighty Well. We're in the snow. Brr. Yeah, it's cold. But yeah, I'm going to hit the gym. I don't know. I may show some sets or what I do. But there's nobody there to record, so I may just go in, show going in, put in the work, and then leave. But I, I don't know. I, I really feel hype. I really feel pumped. I just want to go in and kill it some more, even though we're going in like crazy. But let me, let me stop recording. My phone's getting wet. But yeah. All right, I picked up this uh, new shovel, so here we go. Finally, about to start after wiping off the daily. But it's about to take me about uh, 30 minutes or so, maybe less. I'm about to move quick as shit. It's cold. Look at that, almost done. Perfect square. All done. Finish. Time for LA. I'm ready. Guys, I haven't worn polo boots since high school. It's funny. But gotta clean up the car again before we head to the gym. I wish somebody went with me. So I can get some videos, but it's cool, guys. This whole video is about dropping that 10 pounds this month, baby. But yeah, see y'all when I get to the gym. It's times like this where I wish having the truck, but my cousin has it right now. Jeez, I would have plowed through all this like it's nothing with that truck. But to the gym we go, slow, creeping. I don't know what time it is. Couldn't really show the workout was going in too much. Too many people around me. But it's cardio time. Ah, five minutes in. Already swimming like crazy. Incline treadmill. That's the way to go. It's either that or elliptical, but it's hard to be good today. It's go time, baby. No days off. Y'all see it? Damn. 15 minutes on the hills. Y'all see it? Whew. Shit. It's over. That's it. Now on to the video. 16 minutes. Feeling good as shit. Better by the day, y'all. Go time. Know how to make the almighty protein shake. All right, man. Got your one scoop. Right, Chia seeds, flax seeds, and four ounces of skim milk. The rest of water. This stuff will make you crap like crazy. But here we go. And fibers. Back home, as I set up for the part of the video y'all really came for. Uh, where I am now, high loss, you know the weight, and I think I'm gonna add the beginner tips, but I might keep it separate. I don't know yet. Um, but two things I got: nice new mic and Metro LED ring light. Cause my room is dark, my bulb is out, so. Hopefully this will lighten it up so I can take some nice, clean videos. So I heard you wanted to lose weight this year. Tired of failing those New Year's resolutions? Wanted to get that summer 
body. Lock up what you need. Right here. On my channel. <laughs> what it do, y'all? It's your boy, Mighty Well. Got my hater blockers on. Because we're going to need this one today. Um, psych! Let me take him off. What's up, guys? Um, as you guys see by the title, um, literally today's video, and shout out to this new lighting. I'll show you guys the setup after. It looks very good, you know, clean, clean. Um, today's video will literally be about, you know, where I am now, where I started, and five beginner tips to weight loss. And then also, y'all already know, y'all already know. How I lost 10 plus pounds this month already. This is my first time doing a face to face like that. Um, you know, sometimes people gotta break out their comfort zone and do different things. Um, hopefully, I'm looking right at the camera. But yeah, this is what I'll do. I'm in my room right now. I um, was gonna do it somewhere else, but I couldn't. And I'm trying to be discreet as possible. Uh, my family's here. I don't wanna, you know, curse or nothing. So yeah, I, I will be discreet. But let's get right to into it. Um, here we go. So now the reason why I waited to drop episode two is because I really wanted to, you know, really want to know um, how serious this was um, for me. It's something that I really wanted to do a long time ago. And I had to make sure myself that I was fully committed to it. So that's why I worked all the hard this month in silence, you know, and made this progress, made this gains to show that I was uh, serious about it this time around. Um, it ain't no joke making these games. But yeah, that's the reason why I waited for uh, this episode two of the weight loss journey. First things first, we'll go over where um, I started. Um, and a lot of y'all gonna be like, damn almighty, you big man. But yeah, um, I started my journey um, January 2021 restart and I literally want to say restart because I didn't get to hit it yet I in my last video I you know been through so much things been through a lot you know trying to do a lot of things at one time but I finally was able to get over the hump and now uh, we're on the right path to making these gains so where I started a whopping whopping 480 guys and yeah the number sounds crazy of course a lot of people probably think, you know, oh, you don't look like it, stuff like that. Um, a lot of people say that. A lot of people think I'm 300 or so, just because, you know, my stature, big and tall, don't really seem like it. But yeah, and, you know, in, in this uh, Jamaican family, we hold a lot of this uh, weight in our thighs. So I got them thunder thighs. But yeah, I did start at 480. Um, another thing I, I like to do is I like to track it, my weight loss journey. So like to track that so i started at 480 on january 1st and i want to say 480 plus um because before then we were eating uber eats you know i found out about uber eats and i got some free code we we're eating bad i could show i could show you guys some of the food we eat but chinese is my favorite food so we we're eating bad even though i was going to the gym a little bit here and there but just not like how i was so it was really bad then um in a bad situation but i knew that once the new year started i wanted to uh get back and, and do this, you know, what I really wanted to do. So I did start at 480. Um, on the seventh is when I started to cut my first like legit cut where I started eating right, um, going to the gym every day. And uh, you know, those things in those nature, doing my cardio, getting up to it. So on the 22nd of January, I had finally got a scale um, that you guys see in the video and i'll show you the numbers so you know i have my proof i was at 474.2 so by then i was already down 5.8 pounds guys which was crazy i felt good i felt amazing um once you see that progress you feel a lot better about yourself um on the 24th two days later you guys won't believe this I was going in like crazy. I was uh, cutting calories a lot. Um, I was going in like crazy, guys. Y'all see from the workouts and stuff like that. I, I literally go crazy. So on the 24th, I was 
467.3. Yes, Lord. Down 6.9. We're making gains, baby. I told y'all. We're making gains. And today, as y'all see, I'm about to insert the clip here. Um, January 31st, the day before February, in one month, I was at 464.5. So I wanted to get down 10 for sure. So that's why I say um, I really didn't have a scale before, so I didn't know where I was exactly. But I know that I had to have been over that 480. I, I realistically, the way I was eating stuff like that, even not going to the gym, not sleeping enough, I had to been over the 480. So that's why I add that. But I'll say from the scale, getting the scale all the way till now that I can actually see the progress, I am officially down 10. So, but in total, it would be officially like 16 pounds in total. But I want to keep it to where the scale is because that's where I really knew where I was. So that's where I am now, guys. And I'm only getting better from here, only making progress. But where some of you guys maybe came here for is uh, to know how I lost, you know, the 10 plus pounds within this first month and, you know, the five beginner tips that I would give to anybody who is on their journey. I, it's funny, I think, I don't think I'm looking at the camera, like, because, you know, I'm on my iPhone. I would've used a real camera, but I like this new little setup, so maybe this is looking at it, but yeah. Regardless, I know I'm talking to you guys. So, um, number one thing I would say is uh, your mindset. And that plays the biggest part, which a lot of people forget. You know, going in to this journey is something that's gonna be really hard. It's something that's gonna play with your mind a lot. It's something that's always gonna be on your mind when you wanna change. And, you know, I don't know where you guys are in your lives, what's going on, what's happening. But I know for you guys, you know that a lot of stuff can happen in your life that can even kind of, you know, mess with your mind and everything. But the reason why I feel like I was so good at keeping up and keep going, even though I failed before, was um, my mindset. You know, that's why if you if you watch my channel before, I did all the car stuff, did all car things. If you ever look at my videos, you never see me down or anything, but I've had those days. Um, but, you know, that mindset is what kept me, me going, knowing that I, I really wanted to get this bad and I knew that I was gonna get it eventually, but I just had to, you know, get that that right flow going. So mindset and being real with yourself. Um, the reason why I was, you know, so out there like this, I, I never really cared what anybody said to me or about I mean, how anybody thought about me. Overall, I'm, I know I'm cool with mostly everybody and stuff like that, but regardless, like going into this, you can't care about what people think about you. You can't, you gotta go in it gotta do what you gotta do gotta you know get it how it is can't think about what nobody thinks about you that's the number one thing i can't even say it but forget the haters you you, you guys know what i mean forget the haters um there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna hate on you a lot of people that will maybe try to make fun of you and stuff like that but there are a lot of people that are dealing with the same thing that will motivate you and push you to keep going so that's especially when i want to do this um to let people know that they're not alone um i've been dealing with this for a while I'll say four years or so, so, or not really four years, three years or so, but either or, you're not alone. We're all going through this together. Um, we're all gonna make our gains together. So that's number one. Your mindset is key. Knowing that you wanna change, knowing that you want better for yourself. Um, you gotta have a killer mindset. Um, when I go to gym and stuff like that, I, I literally wanna go in, I, I don't think about anybody. I just wanna go in and get my workout in and kill everything, so. Mindset is number one. All right, now for number two, I put get sleep and uh, be st stress-free and to stop overthinking. Um, get sleep is really a factor that killed me with this whole weight loss journey. Um, I know before I used to go to sleep around like four or 5 a.m. like every day because I couldn't uh, sleep. I would always literally overthink at night all the time, you know, like, you know, when am I gonna get this? How am I gonna get this? How am I gonna do this? Dealing with family, you know, friends and stuff like that. Dealing with a lot of stuff and it used to keep me up at night, but I also used to, uh, I am a gamer, as y'all know. I used to play games at night, 2K, of course, y'all know. Um, not COD or anything like that, but any game, it doesn't matter. I used to play games up late at night 
And I realized that was really like really bad for me not sleeping because you don't make your gains if you don't get no rest. So getting sleep, number two, be stress-free. Try to do things that uh, won't stress you out. You know, for me, going to the gym is one thing that's stress-free for me. But also chilling, you know, listen to music. Find something that you can do that will keep you stress-free and to help you to not overthink you know, about all these things that's going on. Number three, three would be find a workout routine that works for you. Um, a lot of people are different um, when they go into weight loss journeys. You know, you got your cardio craze monsters, you got your lifters, you got your crossfitters, stuff like that. Um, for me, what works for me was I, I like to lift. I can't fake the, the bodybuilding lifestyle is what I really love a lot, you know. Watching these guys like Simeon Panda, uh, Phil Heath, Kai Green, Steve Cook, uh, Cannonball Mogu, those are like some of my favorites that I used to watch all the time in the beginning before I even got into fitness. And um, those would be the things that I would look at, you know, and I and I just love the, the feeling of, you know, that bodybuilding lifestyle, you know, going to the gym, I can literally lift for about two hours or more without even feeling tired. And that's how I usually always was, even though I'm a, I'm a big guy, but when it comes to like lifting, I, I don't care about time. I don't care about anything. I love going in. I love getting a pump, you know, y'all know what I mean when y'all lift, that pump feeling. And then I do uh, my cardio after. I would usually do 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how long the workout is. On leg days, I usually do 30 minutes. Um, I sometimes split up between 15 minute treadmill doing hills or 15 minute elliptical, but elliptical is my favorite. It used to be my favorite back then when I was really dropping weight a lot. Um, I used to do elliptical for like 45 minutes to an hour. So elliptical is really good, but that's, you know, a workout routine that works for me. Going to the gym, doing your push pull legs, you know, chest and tries, back and buys, and then your legs on third day, every day. Like that was what really works. It works for me a lot. So find a workout routine that works for you. Nothing crazy. Go at your own pace. Don't try to carry yourself over when you're first getting into it. But that's one thing that I'll say at work. Number four. I have big hands, quiet Leonard hands. Um, finding a diet that works for you. Um, now this one is, is this crazy. You know, a lot of people will tell you a whole bunch of diets. You look online, you see keto, you see this, you see that. And I've probably tried them all, but the one that really works for me was the one I first did, which is like a low carbs got your proteins got your greens stuff like that and that's what really works for me like having those type of meals i tried keto and i did it for like a week or two and the way i work out i felt like without those carbs stuff like that, it really like killed me. i felt like i crashed a lot um but i can show you some of the meals i'm gonna insert them right here you know some of the meals i make Literally, my plate has to show you at, if you went to the doctor and stuff like that, half plate full of greens, literally a cup of, half cup of rice, not even a full cup of rice. I try to literally cut out carbs fully, but I have a little bit in there, half cup of rice and then your proteins, four ounces, six ounces sometimes of protein. And that's what really works for me right now. That's literally what I've been doing this whole time, these type of meals. So um, that's what really, really has helped me drop the weight a lot. Um, having a low calorie diet um i do use my fitness pal it's a really good app and i have it set to 2400 but i will literally say throughout the the week um i literally have almost sometimes 1300 calories left 1400 calories left but on the regular it'd be around 800 to a thousand calories left that i didn't eat by the time after i eat after i eat at seven o'clock also i try to eat by seven o'clock or before too so Eating early also is what works also for me. I know I said also twice, but yeah. So finding that diet that works for you. This what works for me, meal prepping. I make the chicken breast, the veggies and stuff like that. I love spinach, I love spring mix, I love kale. Make those things and it's really been working for me. I don't mind it. You know, it fills you up more too. It's less calories and it fills you up more. So, and then also I have my, you know, light Italian dressing. I do add sometimes a little bit of croutons. But staying under that calorie CE deficit really works for me. Number five is to simply keep going. 
um, literally after I got the skill, it really pushed me like even more because seeing the way where I started and then seeing it come down, it motivates you more and more to keep going. So getting that skill really helped a lot, but it pushed me to keep going, it motivated me more to keep going. Um, you always want to remember why you started, you know, and remember your end goals. You know, that's one thing that's you should always remember when you do it. And, you know, in the end, I want to say, re regardless of anything, you got to do this for you. Um, this this weight loss journey, this whatever it may be, you may be on a weight loss journey. You may be on a weight gain journey. You're smaller, trying to get bigger, regardless of what you do. Remember to do it for you. You can't do it for your family. You can't do it for your friends. You can't do it for, you know, whatever girl you like and stuff like that. You got to do this for you guys. This is literally just for you. Um, so remember why you started. Remember your end goal and to keep going, guys. It's simply all it is that having that mindset of, you know, I just want to change. You got to be obsessed with change. You got to, you got to want this really bad. So that's what I'll say for number five, you know, is to keep going, keep pushing. We're going to make it. We're going to get it to where we want to be. So for the bonus, I did add a bonus, is uh, don't worry about your numbers, really. You know, even though I got a skill, it is good and stuff like that, but a lot of people will see that beginning number and be like, oh man, you know, I'm overweight. I, I can't can't do this. How am I gonna? Don't worry about the numbers, guys. If you know you're doing the right thing, you know you're keeping on track, you're exercising every day, you're eating right, you'll be fine. Literally, I'll, I'll tell you, don't worry about the numbers. Even me before, I didn't really think about the numbers too much, as long as I knew I was going in, but it is a plus, you know, now that I know it's better because I'm able to um, keep going off those numbers. And I, I love seeing progress, guys. You don't understand when you see the numbers go down, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see uh, your body changing little by little. It's the best thing on earth. So, but I also wouldn't want you guys to worry about, you know, numbers and stuff like that. The whole numbers thing can mess up your mind. It can make you not want to do it, make you fail and stuff like that. But there's that. So one thing I forgot to add was my goal for 2021. So right now, my goal for 2021 with this weight loss journey is to be down 100 pounds. And I'm already 10 down now, so technically got 90 left. But that is the goal for 2021. I know for a fact it should be down more than that with the pace I'm going, with the way I'm going. But as long as I keep going at that, keep progressing, I would definitely be down to 100 by January 2022, or more as I say. But you guys will see as we keep going on with the videos, um, keep going on with the channel. I know I did switch it up. So this is, as I said, this is lifestyle. Um, I wanted to add everything I do into this channel now, officially. So for all my car people that follow, y'all see the car stuff will still be there. For all my gaming people um i'll try to implement that more later on but not too much now once i get settled and that's really it guys but those are my top five beginner tips on how i lost this wonderful 10 pounds already this month so if you guys you know are watching this and you know you feel like you're ready for it you know share this video with somebody that you know that maybe want it you know or you know Comment down below. I want y'all to comment down below if you got this far, though, too. Comment down below. It's go time. Because, you know, it's go time. Y'all know I always say that in my videos. That's my, my thing. So, if anybody takes that, I'm coming for you. But, yeah, guys. It's go time. It's your boy, Mighty Well. We're down 10 pounds this month. We're making progress. We're crashing these goals. I'm about to finish my protein shake, my Almighty shake. It's your boy. Signing out. It's a little setup for the video. Very clean. Very clutch. Amazon, thank you. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. So one thing I did forget to add to the uh, diet part was water. Drink a lot of water. I got this bottle off Amazon and I literally fill it up at least twice a day, sometimes more, because um, I sweat a lot when I go to the gym too. But y'all drink a water. Um, I cut out literally all other drinks other than milk, um, pre-workout when I go to the gym and that's really it. And I only drink skim milk, so sometimes I'll have like a cup of milk with lunch or something. But other than that, I usually just put milk in pre-workout, so 
I used to drink a lot of zero cows. Zero cows were my favorite, but I know it's zero calories and stuff like that, but I, you know, to take it more serious, I said, let me cut out everything. And literally, this is it. Just, you know, some agua, water. Yeah, you need it, you need, so yeah. Pocket, my jeans great debate. Yeah, I ride it.